According to latest researches in quantum physics, death is not real. It is just an illusion which shows we are actually immortal. We never die. These discoveries in quantum physics are shattering everything we knew about death. The research by two world-famous scientists, Stuart Hameroff and Sir Roger Penrose, says that our consciousness continues to exist or transform after death. The afterlife might be more real than we ever imagined. So let's uncover what might be waiting for us beyond the grave. First understand what actually the death is. Death can be defined as the permanent and irreversible end of all biological functions that sustain a living organism. Death happens to everyone. When you die, your body stops working and starts to decompose. But according to the latest research, death is not the end of the story. Friends, before we discuss this new discovery, you need to have an idea about what we mean by quantum consciousness. Imagine your mind is more than just your brain working hard. What if the secrets of your thoughts and feelings were hidden in the tiniest parts of your brain involving the strange world of quantum physics? This is what the theory of quantum consciousness is all about, proposed by scientists Stuart Hameroff and Sir Roger Penrose. Normally, we think of consciousness as something our brain does. Our brain cells called neurons send signals to each other and that's how we think, feel and experience the world. But Hameroff and Penrose suggest that there is more to it. Inside each brain cell, there are tiny structures called microtubules. These microtubules are like little tubes that help the cell keep its shape, divide and transport materials inside. You can think of them as tiny highways within the cell. Hameroff and Penrose believe these microtubules are the key to understanding consciousness. Quantum physics is the science that studies the smallest things in the universe like atoms and subatomic particles. It is a strange and complex world where particles can be in multiple places at once and can be connected even when they are far apart. These weird behaviors are very different from how things work in our everyday world. Hameroff and Penrose propose that quantum vibrations occur in the microtubules inside our brain cells. These vibrations are extremely small and happen at the quantum level. According to their theory, these quantum vibrations are somehow related to our consciousness. In other words, our thoughts, feelings and experiences might be linked to these tiny quantum processes. This theory suggests that these microtubules handle quantum information. Quantum information is a way of storing and processing data that uses the principles of quantum physics. When your brain processes thoughts and experiences, it might be using this quantum information thanks to the microtubules. One of the fascinating parts of this theory is what it suggests about death. Normally, when we die, our brain stops working and our consciousness is thought to end. But if the consciousness is linked to quantum processes in the microtubules, then maybe this quantum information doesn't just disappear when we die. Instead, it could transform or go somewhere else, hinting at some kind of continued existence beyond physical death. This incredible research has the potential to completely change how we understand our minds and consciousness. It suggests that our thoughts and feelings are deeply connected to the fundamental workings of the universe. Immortal souls, as we try to understand what happens after we die, many different ideas come up. Each of these ideas gives us a unique view of our final journey. Some people think there are parallel universes where we keep living in another form. Others believe our consciousness becomes part of the universe itself. Some say our souls continue as ghosts, while others think we get reborn into new lives. There is also the idea that we move 
to a higher dimension after death. Each of these theories offer a different way to think about what might happen after we die. Let's explore each of these afterlife theories in more detail. Theory number one, parallel universes. Imagine countless universes alongside ours, where different versions of you live out different lives. Death here might just mean you are alive somewhere else. It's a mind-boggling idea that suggests we are immortal across multiple realities. Theory number two, cosmic connection. Some believe our consciousness is part of a universal fabric. When we die, we merge back into this cosmic consciousness like a drop of water returning to the ocean. It is a peaceful thought that we are all connected in the grand scheme of things. Theory number three, paranormal beliefs, ghosts, spirits, hauntings. Many think our soul keeps going after death. These beliefs vary, but they all suggest there is more to our existence than just our physical bodies. Theory number four, reincarnation. Popular in Eastern philosophies, this theory says we are reborn into new lives, learning and evolving with each cycle. Death is not the end, but a new beginning in a different form. Theory number five, dimensional shift. What if we move to a higher dimension after death? This idea, inspired by physics, suggests that death is just a shift to a different kind of existence, governed by new laws and perceptions. Friends, these theories show our deep curiosity and fear about what comes after death. They offer different answers, but all point to the possibility that death might not be as final as we think. Now we will discuss one more fascinating topic known as near-death experiences or NDEs in short. Friends, what it is like to be on the edge of death? People who have had near-death experiences describe leaving their bodies, seeing bright lights and watching their lives flash before their eyes. Studies even show brain activity during cardiac arrest, indicating that these experiences might be more than just hallucinations. Let's take the example of Peter Sellers, the famous actor who had an NDE. He describes his near-death experience as, I felt myself leave my body. I saw an incredibly beautiful, bright, loving white light above me. I wanted to go to that white light more than anything. Similar type of NDE has been described by many others. These NDEs blur the line between life and death. So friends, death once seemed final, but now with quantum physics, cosmic connections and NDEs, it is becoming a mystery we are only beginning to understand. Are we immortal beings? Maybe the real answer lies in embracing the mystery, not fearing it. Thanks for watching.